All right, so here I have a 13 inch Acer Chromebook. The model is C810. And we got a little problem with the battery. So I am going to go ahead and replace the battery. And I figured I'd just show you how to do that. So we're gonna go here on the back cover and we're gonna, re we're gonna take out all of the screws there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just position them on my table in the same layout or orientation as they are in the Chromebook. And the reason I like to do that when I'm opening a device like this is because sometimes the screws are different sizes and so I want to make sure that they get back into the correct hole. Now on this particular Chromebook I have noticed that the screws tend to disappear off the back cover um, so in many cases we are missing screws. And that doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. I usually have a few laying around and we can get some extra ones in there. Okay, so once we get these last couple screws off, we will go ahead and take off the back cover. I'll put a link down here at the bottom as to which size screwdriver I'm using there. Now when you take this cover off, you want to be very careful. In this particular model, there's a cable from the motherboard tethered all the way to the back cover. So I'm going to flip this towards me here and you can see that there's a cable that's going from the main system over to that cover. I'm not a huge fan of that, but it is there, so you just gotta be careful. Now the battery down here is um, the big black thing here, and you can see mine is actually swelling here, and uh, that's pretty dangerous, so we're going to take that out. So you get a little connector here up at the top that goes into the main board, and you just need to pull that out. If you have some tiny fingers or you get a pry tool, you can get that. And then on either side of the battery, there are a couple screws, and we're just going to go ahead and unscrew those. And then once we get those undone, the battery should be free. Now this particular battery has a model number from Acer of AC14B8K, and I bought some replacements on Amazon that work fairly well. And so I'll link to some of those down below. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put that battery in. You do want to make sure that at the very bottom, you get these two little clips and that they uh, get inserted inside that little slot on the bottom bracket. Otherwise, it can be a little bit troublesome getting that battery back in. You can go ahead and replace those screws on the left and the right hand side. Sometimes it's easier to connect the battery before you do that but I like to make sure that it's secured down first. And once we have those in, we can go ahead and get that battery connector plugged into the motherboard. You would definitely wanna make sure you do that, otherwise you're not going to get any charging. And now once you've done that, we're gonna replace the lid, flipping that over, making sure not to kink that ribbon, and then we'll go ahead and replace all the screws. And then hopefully when you're done with that, you can now charge and power your Chromebook without the power brick.